Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. We are live at Pack Expo 2019 at the Yaskawa Motorman booth. We're gonna show you a demo of all the fun stuff we have going on here today. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome to our booth. Like I said earlier, my name is Michael Castor with the Scala Motoman. We are here at the Motoman booth at uh, Pack Expo 2019 in sunny Las Vegas. Without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about our demos. So this is our miniature palletizing cell using our GP7 robots. So these are using multiple in-feet conveyors and uh, we have a couple pallets going on. One's being loaded and one's being unloaded. So this is a good example of what you might find out there in the real world, or maybe you have an application that could use something like this. So this is a shrunk down version. Uh, we're also showing off our pallet solver offline pallet generation program. Um, this, this software can be uh, used to set up all your uh, box information, gripper sizes, in-feed conveyors, outfeeds, everything offline, and then you send it to the robot and it'll pick right up where you, uh, where you need it to be. So we're also showing off our FSU functionality. So these are some light curtains we have set up. Right now it's green, so the ro robots are operating full speed. I stick my hand in here, the robots slow down, and uh, they slow down according to your risk assessment. And you keep going, and the robots stop completely. So you can get in there, uh, change anything around that you need to, uh, maybe move a box, whatever. As you back out, the robots speed up slowly, so it's still in slow mode and then you come out completely and the robots operate in full speed. So like I said, this is a miniature version of a palletizing cell. Our real palletizing robots that you see out there in the real world is the MPL-160, and that's the robot right above me up here. So this is our workhorse palletizer. It uh, can, can lift 160 kilograms of payload, perfect for moving multiple boxes. You can do full layers at once. You can do bags. You can do pretty much anything with it. So this is kind of our default cell, our default robot for palletizing. So this is our 3D bin picking demo. So we have uh, Motosite 3D. It uses a Canon 3D camera to pick up these connecting rods that are placed randomly in this box. So we have two robots in here. This is a GP7 robot, and we also have our Moto Mini. So what's going on is that the robot is using the information from the 3D camera to determine how to pick up the connecting rods inside of here, um, figure out the orientation, and then either place them on the rack or hand them off to the Moto Mini acting as a re-rip station to put them on the racks. So uh, great for randomly placed items. The uh, software is right here, and all you have to do is upload your CAD file to it. It matches the CAD file to the information it's receiving from the 3D camera, uh, to determine everything. So you can put in pretty much unlimited information or unlimited CAD files into this and it will be able to sort and pick everything up in there. All right, so this is a called the Scrabble demo, uh, as we call it, from our Drives in Motion team. So what's going on here is we have all these cubes and these have all different letters on there. They are randomly placed on the conveyor belt. There's a camera up here in the top that takes a picture and it determines the orientation of the block and the letters on it. So then we have a, another robot. So this is a four axis robot. It's kind of a replacement for a Scara. Um, and it's taking these blocks and orienting them uh, to fit nicely on the conveyor. And then we have a GP8 robot over here that's flipping it according to where it needs to be to spell a word. So right now we have Yuskawa. It also says ask away, uh, depending on what, what, it, what comes up in the program next. So we have a Moto Mini over here that's, also, that's doing some more rotation. This Moto Mini is on a rail, so it's able to travel and do conveyor tracking as things move. So you can see that it's lining itself up and keeping perfect time with those blocks. So, and it's doing a little bit of manipulation when it needs to. So you might be asking yourself, what all is going on here, Michael? Why do we have all these robots working together? And uh, what it's doing, we're showcasing a singular control. So all the drives and everything over here are all talking together using a uh, singular control from Yuskawa Drives in Motion. So this is a great way to tie everything from conveyors to robots to your vision systems all together so they can work simultaneously. Um, so you, everything talks great together uh, to give you a seamless, um, seamless automation solution. So now we're at our Motosite 2D demo. So this is using a GP8 robot. And what's going on here is we have all these dominoes. 
and these come randomly off of this tray onto a conveyor belt. So uh, the, the robot is using one camera, so we have it right up here, and it's taking a picture of all the dominoes, and it's determining the orientation, it's telling you if it's uh, front side or back side, and it's also counting the dots. So then we're using the dots to tell it where it needs to go on the tray. So they're all oriented by value. So it starts with the uh, zero domino and goes clear up to the highest number domino. So it's sorting all these out, doing an awful lot of stuff using one camera and using Modisite 2D software. So this is a pick and place demo showcasing our MPP3 robots. That's the uh, Delta robots here. So what's going on is we have unstructured product coming in on a conveyor. There is a camera in that silver kind of doghouse looking thing over there. And it's in that enclosure to control the lighting. So really we could shut off the lights in here and everything would operate seamlessly. There'd be no, uh, no issues or, at all since it's a structured, uh, structured light environment. So the camera is taking a picture it's looking at the orientation of the products. The robots are um, orienting them um, nicely in these, in these trays, so they're all the same direction. So one camera is determining all that information, and it's also, we're using, it's called Motopix software, and that's doing the scheduling for the robots. So it tells robot one to pick up everything it can, robot two will then pick up everything, everything after that. So this is daisy chainable, you can chain multiple robots up to it, and they're all controlled using one camera. Also in the back here, we have our GP12 robot. So this is a 12 kilogram robot, and we just have it taking these nicely trade items and recirculating them. But we're also showcasing the, uh, the GP12. So this is used frequently uh, if you need more reach. So it's 12 kilogram robot, 1.44 uh, meters of reach. Um, it's available as part of our smart series of robots. So a uh, great little pick and place demo setup. So here we have a fun little demo using our HC10DT robot. Now I am particularly fond of this demo because I helped come up with it. Um, so I actually did some of the, the CAD on it and, uh, and helped, helped a bit put it together. So this is using our HC10DT robot. We have a gripper from Soft Robotics and uh, you'll notice there's no guarding or anything on this. So I can actually interact with it as it, as it moves and it's, it's safe. So this is, uh, this is protected using our PFL technology. So I'm going to hit a button here, and it is going to go through a little dance sequence and uh, then give me one of these little blue stress balls that's over here in these tubes. Um, so we're also showcasing a cart. So this is a, more or less a prototype product that we're considering making a, a standard product for us. So you, in theory, you'd be able to wheel this up to an area in your business, um, have, your robot, have the robot do the work, and then you can redeploy it as you need to. So right now, it's grabbing that stress ball over there. It's gonna do a little re-grip operation. So put it in this little cup. And uh, this gripper from Soft Robotics, we've actually, uh, we really like this gripper. We've been messing with it a lot in the lab and uh, at the trade show. So it's great because you can, you can mess with it. Um, it's not gonna hurt you. So then we can hit this teach button. It releases it. So it's just giving me a stress ball. It'll just go back uh, into a little dance mode now. So Soft Robotics is also here and you can check them out. But a uh, fun, little, fun little collaborative demo using our AC-10DT robot. So this is another fun demo using our AC-10DT robot. Uh, I call this affectionately the robot petting zoo. And this lets you interact with our robots. So we're showing a couple different things here. We're showing hand guiding using our AC-10DT. And we're also showing off the Smart Pendant, which is a new product for us to make things very easy to use uh, especially if you've never programmed a robot before. So let's check this out. So this is our smart pendant. It gives you all the information you need to program the robot. Um, so for hand guiding, we're just gonna change it to hand guiding. And then we can position the robot as we need to and actually teach everything right from this collar down here. So I hit the little teach button, it logs the point and uh, helps so you can program it very, very quickly and easily without even using the pendant. If you do want to use the pendant, we have another easy to use technology called Smart Frame that I demoed in the last webinar. So all you do for that is drop it down to Smart Frame. 
And then we can control the robot using these keys. So it's going to orient itself to the, to the pendant. It makes it very easy to use and get going. So a couple of great things you can check out here at our booth and you can actually play with a robot. If you've never experienced using a robot before, this is the perfect place to come and try it. You can have this thing running in about, uh, about a minute. You can program it to be moving a little, we have some little hand sanitizers you can play with. So uh, definitely stop by and check this one out. All right, so this one's really exciting. This is a brand new robot for us called the HC20. So this is one of a handful of prototypes that exist in the world right now. And this is our next collaborative robot. So 20 kilogram payload, 1.7 meters of reach, which makes it perfect for palletizing. We're excited about this for that, uh, for that application in particular because it'll actually reach two pallets with no problem at all. So you can reach conveyor, one pallet over here, one pallet over here. So plenty of reach on this guy. It's also IP67 rated. So you can wash this thing down if you need to. Uh, you can use it in food service environments. So all sorts of uh, great features on this. Uh, it also has food grade grease inside. So again, perfect for food service. Uh, it has our integrated teaching ring up here at the top. So very exciting robot. Like I said, this is only a prototype. So it may change a bit by the time it becomes available. Uh, and we're looking for it to come available sometime middle of next year. So a uh, very exciting uh, robot coming up next year. So definitely stay tuned for more information on this one. All right, so I'd like to introduce you to probably the cutest demo we have here today using our Moto Mini robots. So these little guys are half a kilogram payload. And despite their small size, these are fully functional six axis industrial robots. So they have all the same capabilities as our bigger robots, just a scaled down version. So we have these guys doing an assembly operation, putting together what are called snap circuits. So this is a hobby product you can buy off of Amazon. So we're uh, showcasing the speed, we're showcasing the agility of these little guys um, and building, building little circuits. So these are powered with our YRC 1000 microcontroller. You can get it with the smart pendant that I showed, showed you earlier or a standard pendant, just whatever flavor you prefer. Um, I'm told that hours of programming went into this to bring these little robots to life, which uh, they certainly do have a lot of personality. So if you're anywhere near our booth at Pack Expo today, I really recommend you check this one out and stand here and watch them build these little circuits. So uh, great little demo. So one of the popular buzzwords nowadays is IoT 4.0. So how do you get information about what's going on in your plant? How do you monitor your robots remotely? So our solution for that is called Yaskawa Cockpit. So here is a Yaskawa Cockpit demo. So this has all of our robots that we talked about earlier, all of our demos set up on here. So we can find information about it, find out how they're running, uh, go drill down for the particular robots here. You can tell uptime, reducer life, anything. So you can use this to plan your preventative maintenance. So you can tell what maintenance levels are coming up, what you need to do next, um, all that stuff with the Scala Cockpit. The other fun thing about Cockpit uh, is you can write these add-on functions. So these allow you to make customized views and graphs of your, of your uh, robot cells. So what we have here is something called the pub, which we're gonna see next. We have the pub monitor. So this is an add-on that we wrote. So we're, we'll show it next, but we have a robot that's serving you beer. So we're telling you how many cups are left in the dispenser, know if we need to refill it. We're telling you any alarms or logs. We're telling you the keg levels. So you can tell how much is left in the kegs, how many drinks have been served. So all this can be done using add-on functions from uh, in Yuskawa Cockpit. There's so many capabilities of Yuskawa Cockpit, I really can't cover them all. But if you go to modaman.com, you can find out all about Yuskawa Cockpit on there. So definitely check it out. All right, so we say the best demo for last. So this is an HC10 DT robot that is serving beer. So you can drop by our booth and get a free beer served to you by a robot. So Don's gonna show us how this works. What you're gonna do is, assuming you're over 21, you come over and scan your badge, and then you have your choice between two different kinds of beer. Once you make your selection, the robot's gonna come over, grab a cup from the dispenser, and then fill it up for you. So 
to the river, then brings it over. So then you can grab it and enjoy. And of course, since it's served by a robot and it's free beer, it just tastes better. So that about wraps up all our demos here today. Make sure you drop by to see us. We're at booth 4243 in the Central Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you.